Greetings, I'm your host, Dr. Wolfula, and welcome to Dr. Wolfula's Die in Theater, where I live scream horror movies for your dangertainment. Now, tonight's feature presentation will be... The She-Beast, starring Barbara Steele. And if you don't know what a She-Beast is, well, just take a look at my ex-wife. <laughs> uh, wait a second, that's not funny. My ex-wife was a very kind and lovely woman, and I mistreated her. Ah, oh, boy, I feel like a real jackass right now during this fucking stream. Ah, oh, I gotta give her a call later. I've been so cruel to her. Ah, oh, this sucks. Ah, oh, damn. But yeah, I'll be streaming the She Beast. Thank you, Goulash, for uh, taking the tickets. I uh, hopefully you have been taking tickets tonight, Goulash. Uh, just continue staring out into space if you have been. Um, yeah, good. Okay, yeah, you've been taking tickets. If you're watching this Die in Theater presentation later on YouTube, and you're wondering why wasn't this on YouTube? Well, that's because. It was on my Twitch channel. Yes, the Die In Theater's new home is on Twitch because YouTube can be a little bit of a pain. But if you want to make sure you catch future Die In Theater streams on Twitch, well, uh, make sure you uh, follow me on twitch.tv slash drwolfula. Link in the description if you're watching this on YouTube. Uh, definitely appreciate any follows. Also want to give a quick plug to my Sunday movie night streams, my bonus movie night streams on uh, Patreon with my Patreon supporters and channel members patreon.com slash dr wolfula the next stream there will be the mutilator so if you want to support the channel and get a bonus movie stream every sunday consider it all right now let's um get this show on the road already the real show on the road my intro was not the show now let's get the actual show on the road goulash goulash just get the show on the road already you're taking way too much time goulash you're really pissing me off get this show on the road damn it ah Fine, I'll do it myself. There we go. Okay. Goulash, I need you to actually start the film reel. Please, turn on the projector, Goulash. Ah, fine, I'll just do it remotely. Ah. Good evening, folks, and a hearty welcome to our drive-in theater. Good, good evening to you as well, creepy disembodied voice. We'll provide several hours of pleasurable relaxation and diversion for you and your family. This better be relaxing. up for tonight's show? No tie, an old shirt and slacks, a house dress? Well, I am wearing a house dress right now. It's underneath my cloak. We just want you to enjoy yourselves. Oh, definitely enjoying myself right now. During the intermission, oh, I'm really enjoying myself. A tasty array of snacks we have to offer. So will the youngsters. Everything. You know, I'm a snack myself. So good. We hope you'll make this a weekly visit. Bring the family. Bring your friends. Guys, you better have brought your family to this stream. Delightful snacks to nibble. A gay, pleasant evening for... Ooh, gay! Nobody mentioned anything about this being gay. ...over 10 miles an hour in the theater area for your safety sake. Guys, feel free to speed in the parking lot. Go with the kids when they leave the car. We hope you have a wonderful... I don't want you guys to think this is like some kind of pussy drive-in theater. Feel free to speed. Till showtime. Okay, well, are these guys about to kiss? I don't know, they're kids. Money for everyone. Big, plump, and juicy. I don't like how suggestive this is. Add mustard, relish, ketchup, and go to work. Yes. Oh boy, this is a little too weird. This is probably getting somebody at this drive-in theater off. I don't like that at all. Sorry about that, folks. Man, those kids must have must be long dead by now, honestly. Haven't I seen this trailer already? Supposing oh, this is all really familiar. I, it's like I'm getting deja vu right now. Socially, the queen wasp is on level with a black widow spider. Who would win in a fight between a queen wasp and a black widow spider? I'm kind of wondering. I'm sure there's like 50 YouTube videos of that. That sounds really fucking cool. Sounds a lot cooler than this movie. I don't know what kind of woman would want to be a wasp woman, but... Uh, scientist with fantastic theories and demanding fantastic results. How old do I look? Tell me! How old? 23? There's no way she looks 23. I guess maybe 23 in the 1800s or something. She looks fucking 43. Alright, I... 
I guess that is like a wasp woman, so I guess it's kind of hot. The enzymes. The enzymes, they're, they're going crazy. I guess I can kind of see the appeal of this movie now. Yeah! Oh no! The wasp woman will tackle us all! We must defeat her! Stitches says the wasp is kind of hot. Yeah, wasps are actually one of the sexiest now, arthropods. On with the show. I'm assuming they're arthropods. All right, now let's watch some Steamboat Willie. I'm kind of wondering now that Steamboat Willie is public domain if we'll finally get like a porno version of it called Motorboat Willie. I guess we'll f I guess we'll have to just wait and see. I'm holding out hope we get Motorboat Wi Willie though. Man. Just imagine Mickey Mouse motorboating Mi Minnie Mouse. Well, I guess there isn't much to motorboat. You might have to take some artistic license with that. Um, but, you know, I figured, you know, back in the old days, you'd always have a cartoon before a feature presentation. So why does, might as well start off with one of the uh, earliest cartoons, at least one of the earliest, most influential cartoons. This is the first talkie cartoon. There isn't much dialogue, but it's the first synchronized sound cartoon. That's pretty impressive. You know, we are talking a lot about this being public domain, but this was a technical achievement at the time. And a lot of people don't really realize that Mickey Mouse in this cartoon is not called Steamboat Willie. That's just the name of the cartoon. The name of the cartoon is just a parody of a Buster Keaton movie that came out that year called S Steamboat Bill Jr. Really funny parody name. <laughs> Steamboat Willie. <laughs> Man, Mickey Mouse was a lot, a lot more dickish back in the old days. I kind of like it. I kind of wish he'd go back to this. These were the good old days. Ooh, what does that gap tooth do, Pete? Mmm. Man, he's laughing his ass off right now. It wasn't that funny, Pete. Okay, now that was funny, though. You gotta hand it to him. <laughs> Pretty damn funny. I'm kinda surprised Steamboat Pete didn't become, like, the breakout star. Why aren't people talking about Pete today? Pete was so much better. Why isn't Pete the current mascot of Disney? Nicole says, I wonder if Walt Disney knew what was coming in his future. Dying of cancer? Because I guess if he <laughs> knew that was happening, maybe he would have uh, made some different choices. <laughs> Maybe I should have spent more time with my family instead of torturing my workers. Ah, oh, yeah, whatever. <laughs> I must have the perfect Mickey Mouse cartoon. Wow, that cow is just deep throating that hay. Very suggestive. All right, this cartoon is so unrealistic. You can't just start a steamboat that fast. Come on. Walt Disney needs to do some goddamn research. Why does Minnie Mouse need to come along? It's not like she's going to do some goddamn work on this steamboat. She's going to be sitting on her ass playing that ukulele. Oh, wait, that's a guitar. Never mind. It's hard to tell with some of these simplistic cartoons. <laughs> Humongous Urungus says, Today is my birthday, and I couldn't think of a better thing to watch. Well, happy birthday to you, Humongous. What the fuck are we watching tonight, Doc? We'll be watching... She-Beast. But that's not for another few minutes. We gotta finish Steamboat Willie. It's crazy to think this cartoon launched a multi-billion dollar corporation. I mean, I, there was technically other things before this. There was... Uh, the Alice comedies, and of course, um, Oswald the Lucky Rabbit, but this is what really put Disney on the map, ultimately, um, and it's kind of crazy to think about that, uh, 
You know, they, this is okay. You know, it's pretty, it's, you know, impressive, but still, it's kind of crazy that this company has managed to have such a, such an overwhelming influence on the course of history and pop culture and everything. And it's just, uh, all off the back of a cartoon mouse. Just sort of playing on some pans. Just banging on pans. It's kind of crazy to think about. I like to think that, you know, someday I'll have the same level of influence and kind of ruin history and pop culture myself in the same way. Fingers crossed. Now, I'm hoping the horror movie versions of this will have the same level of animal cruelty in them. That's something you can't overlook, because if there is an animal cruelty, then it's not a real horror version of Steamboat Willie. It would be such a shame. Because this is just horrible. Like, look at this shit. He's playing that duck like it's a... F That's Donald Duck. That's Donald Duck before he ascended the evolutionary chain. And he's just playing him like he's a fucking instrument. That's cr cruelty. He's torturing these little baby piglets. It's horrible. Kind of fucked up mouse is this? Woodmania says Wolfula Land. I like the way you're thinking. I like the way you're thinking. I think I need to build Wolfula Land in my backyard. It'll be right next to the Dying Theater. I'll have downtown. I'll have like downtown Wolfula. I guess, I guess it'd be the equivalent of downtown Disney. I don't know. I need to, I need to workshop it. Charge annually. Have annual passes. Charge like 200 bucks to get a ticket inside. That has been something I have been toying with, like making a simulated version of like a Dr. Wolfula ride for a video. That'd be kind of fun. All Haunted Mansion style. And it looks like Mickey's in trouble. Oh, he has to go to the potato bin. Oh, poor Mickey. I'm sure he'll figure out some way to get around these chores. Some clever way. God, he's got like a machete. Some big ass potatoes, wow. Well, it looks like Mickey got his comeuppance in the end. <laughs> but maybe there could be some more animal cruelty, yeah. Hell yeah. You know, we love Mickey Mouse, but what we really love is all the animal cruelty he gave us. Ah, now it's time for the feature presentation. Hell yeah. Had to replace the background music, because who knows, maybe Quentin Tarantino has a copyright claim on that background music. <laughs> Can never be too careful. The She-Beast, a.k.a. my ex-wife. <laughs> oh, wait a second, I just remembered. She was a nice lady, she was beautiful. I, I can't keep making these cruel remarks about her. She doesn't deserve it. Ah, oh, God, I feel like a fucking fool. Now, Barbara Steele is the star of this film, but she's barely in it. The director of this movie offered her one grand to basically spend a day shooting this film. She only had one shooting day. But to get around that limitation, they made her shoot nonstop all of her scenes in one day for 18 hours straight, and they would not let her leave the set. Um, so that's a little bit of a fun, uh, a little bit of fun trivia, I think, you know. Being held against your will, like, I imagine they just didn't even let her use the restroom, you know, but it, it does say something that uh, she still uh, got all her shots done anyway, even though she was seemingly kidnapped by the uh, producers, but, uh, you know, she was paid a, a grand, though. <laughs> Uh, and also, this movie, no one is quite sure where they shot this movie. Apparently, there's no definitive answer. Because it is a British production, but it's got some Italian producers. It's, it seems like some of the cast members are Italian, but some of the cast members are British. No one's quite clear on where they fucking shot this movie. But apparently, it was shot in Transylvania, so that doesn't fucking matter. <laughs> I, I like to think every movie is shot where they say it's shot. That's my assumption. I mean, why would a movie lie to us? I mean, really, why would they lie to us? Now, I'm get, just gonna assume that this dude over here stole this taxi cab. 
cause this is way too nice of a car for this dude. Um, especially with how drunk he is. He must have snuck in while the taxi cab driver was taking a leak. I was like, I'll just drive myself home. But he was driving pretty sensibly for a guy this shit-faced. He can barely walk forward without stumbling down. And he lives in a cave. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I guess, I, I guess this guy lives a lavish lifestyle. Because honestly... I kind of envy people who live in caves. I think, Yo yeah, Yogi Bear lives in a cave. He's pretty cool. Meanwhile, Winnie the Pooh's living in a fucking tree. Like, what kind of fucking bear lives in a tree? I feel like we need to go back to caves. You know, there was a reason why we lived in caves to begin with. I feel like it's about time we return to caves. No more, no more of this house bullshit. No more apartments. No more of that. There's plenty of caves. Let's just all live in caves. Greetings, first time commenter Deoxys. Welcome to the inaugural, inaugural, inaugural die in theater stream on Twitch. In the district of I Is that the Necronomicon X newspaper? Being beleaguered by the ignorance of the peasantry towards the world. Of Honestly, that just looks like a sandwich. Oh man, it's making me hungry right now. Yeah, that looks like just a big piece of white bread and that fella is the meat in between infamy that I deem it necessary to record it herein for future generations Miss Cryptoria says when you move to a cave can I have your house um well you know I still want to like make money off of the house like I you know I want to make turn it into a bed and breakfast in that situation uh, but you could you could rent it out as a bed and breakfast, for sure. Um, still, yeah, I'm still gonna need money when I live in a cave, you know. That guy still has a fucking car. Is that Little Aladdin? Whoa, I didn't know we were watching the Young Aladdin Adventures. Hell yeah. If this was a Disney project, they'd spend, like, an hour of the movie just explaining where Aladdin got his fez. Oh, so that's where Aladdin got his fez. Okay, that's cool. Uh, all right, awesome. <laughs> We're gonna call you Aladdin From Solo. Alright, this movie better not get all religious on me. Um, I don't know how, how Twitch feels about religion. <laughs> what is that tapping on my church door? Oh, just an orphan and nothing more. He took my brother. No! He took me enough! Yeah, enough! Do you know what is that kid, is does that kid have blackface Can on? He better not have fucking blackface on, dude. Tell her. If I tell you, will you kill her? Yes, I'll kill her. Where is she? She's in the cave above the lake. Man, I wish I could just go to a random church and just ask people to kill for me. That'd be so great. This is this movie is my fantasy, honestly. Wow, they they got these torches ready to go. Why does this modern church? This movie was made in the '60s. Why does this modern church use torches as lighting? I guess electricity is not caught on for these folks yet. But, you know, I guess it's just in case they need to go out and kill some undead creature. You know, I guess they always come in handy. Moth Cryptid as a first time chat. Hi, Doc. Nice to be able to join you for my first die in theater here on Twitch. Yeah. Great to have you all here hanging out with me. I'm assuming you all have your own little cars watching this stream as well. You're just outside my view right behind me. We have to communicate by text because it's rude to be talking during a movie. Well, I guess I'm talking during a movie, but I get to talk during the movie. Because it's my die in theater, goddammit. So, are these torches just not lit? Some of these torches seem like they're just not lit. Um... You know, it's good torch weather out tonight, though. It's nice and chilly out. I think we need to go back to torches, you know. 
Just to keep warm. Oh, shit! Now, that's a she-bitch if I've ever seen one. Holy shit. I guess we're doing some mud wrestling with, uh, this, uh, she-beast. You know, I, I... Where's the she-beast? I can hardly tell where the she-beast is supposed to be. I guess that's the she-beast. All right, okay. We've uh, established the she-beast. All right, that's good. Humongous Arungus says, Who let my ex-wife out of the basement? Hey, man, your ex-wife was a lovely woman. You need to be better to her. She doesn't deserve this kind of abuse, okay? The whole world runs on ex-wives. We need to be more grateful to them. <laughs> All right, now that is the littlest Dracula. That Dracula is so adorable. Stitches says was. Well, I'm assuming his ex-wife is dead. Aw, oh, look at that adorable little Dracula. He's got a little cape and everything. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, God, is it? Ah. I don't want to see any more close-ups of that she-beast. No, thank you. Oh, thank God they're going to catapult this she-beast. Ah. You know what that'll mean? That'll mean the movie will be over. Oh, hell yeah. You know, usually they give She-Beasts a proper trial. I don't know what uh, changed in this situation. All right, quit being a drama queen. You're just getting catapulted. It's not that big of a deal. Amber Lily says, what makes her a she-beast? She's ugly as fuck. That's pretty much it, you know? That's all that it takes to turn you into a she-beast. Are you a she? Are you ugly? Okay, you're also a beast. I mean, look at that. Look at that shit. I am not a she-beast. I am a human being. Honestly, if she just got herself some proactive or clear sale or something, or my, just a few mighty patches, I feel like she'd look a lot prettier. I mean, come on, just watch like a makeup tutorial, girl. You don't have to look like that all the time. Yeah, you could fix that look. Uh, is it in yet? Uh. Mr. Mystic asks, is she related to the She-Hulk? I mean, honestly, the effects on this She-Beast look a lot better than that She-Hulk show, at least. Man, she needs to shave her legs, damn. Ugh. I do not want to see upskirt shots of that she-beast, okay? So, is this a catapult, or what's going on here? Wait, that was a she-beast, too. There's two she-beasts in this movie. What? So this is not a catapult? It's just a device that dunks her in water? It's like she's just at the pool or something. <laughs> okay, all right. Um, yeah, all right. Um, I guess that's one way to kill somebody. It doesn't seem like she's getting drowned. Honestly, it just looks like a really fun ride. I want to have a turn on that next. That looks like a lot of fun. Okay, I'm bored of that story now. Time for my comfort skull. Here we go. This guy is gradually transforming into Colonel Sanders. <laughs> One time I went to KFC and I found a fucking human skull in the chicken bucket. That's some real bullshit right there. A goddamn human skull. I was not expecting that. It's all right if there's like a few bones here and there, but a human skull? Come on. Ugh. What kind of fucking chicken are they serving me? 
Oh, that's a cute little bug. Surely it's being driven by a hot lady, yeah. Uh, oh, wait a sec. Oh, it's a dude. This is back when uh, dudes could still <laughs> drive Volkswagen bugs, I guess. All right. Autobahn, it appears. Is that chick wearing a trilby? Oh boy. Well, wake me when the traffic. Ah oh, man, I need to go back to the '60s because they really knew fashion. Well, let's have a look. Uh huh. Yes, you're right. This is the Sofia Bucharest Autobahn. Opening scheduled in 18 months. That'll teach you to underestimate your wife. Oh, I'd never do that, stuff. Yeah. Oh, there's another place about. You know, it'd be really nice if we could see this map in the frame. Um, if we could maybe have some shot variety or something. Maybe cut away to something else. I don't know how exciting somebody being lost is, but you could make it more exciting. Excuse me. That is one goth as fuck looking beetle, damn. Uh, you speak English? No, I speak English. Blending. Okay, so do you speak English or don't you speak English, dude? Give me mixed messages here. Could you tell us of an inn there or a hotel? Many first class hotels in Valdrice. Oh, welcome, American. What, is this Bob Hoskins as Mario? Holy shit. Fucking love that movie. By the people in To this day, the best Mario adaptation. Names of a couple of hotels. Hotel Master Best Hotel. Got an inside-outside bathroom. Oh, really? But are there any other hotels? Hotel Master is the only hotel. But you said just now there were a lot of hotels. All the other hotels... Oh, I'm gaslighting you right now, okay? That's right. There's lots of hotels. I don't speak English. Hotel Moscow is the only hotel... I'm starting to think this guy might not be trustworthy. Good night. Good night? Man, he's having a lot of fun on that uh, bike. What is this? Is this a Western era? Okay, there's a motorcycle. There's a guy on a donkey. There's a guy on a bike. What? What year is this supposed to be? They're, they're driving a beetle. What? Me too. I already see red stars before my eyes. Anyway, let's get on down to what is. Oh yes. What a strange place. Oh my god, that trilby. Werewolf. Annie, are you okay? Are you okay? Are you okay, Annie? She's cosplaying a Discord moderator. <laughs> okay, why are we... Why are we being shown really long establishing shots? Oh, everybody has so much fun around this place. Damn. I want to have a turn on that swing next. More or less the same as you. Mm, it'll be another 40 miles from the next town. It'll be getting dark pretty soon. Covenant Slayer says, must be whatever time period the Universal Monster movies happen in. Yeah, they kind of play fast and loose with the time period. There'll be like a medieval-looking castle, horse-drawn carriages, and then there'll be a guy, like, in a taxi cab. Yes, tea and bread. Uh, you be stay the night? I'm afraid we be. <laughs> you stay the night. I say, you do speak good English. No English, just room food and tea. You stay the night, but you must be married. So this guy speaks perfect English, but he keeps insisting he can't. You go away, you cannot stay. Well, he's kind what of is this, anyway. what is this country? I guess it's Transylvania, they said at the beginning of the movie, but everybody speaks English, they just... I be the owner. Now take the up to the room. Just fucking lying, I guess. Everybody fucking lies in Transylvania. Sounds like the best and best... Dracula should have wiped the rest of this country out when he had the chance. Nicole L says, is this movie dubbed? It probably was, but not necessarily because the actor... All the actors in this movie are English, I believe. But they probably had to dub it in because... They probably just didn't have sound equipment. This movie was super low budget, if you can't tell. Same thing happened with Manos, The Hands of Fate. They just didn't have sound equipment, so everything's dubbed. I kind of love those days in the cinema where sound equipment... Sound equipment was just too expensive, so you just had to, like, record the audio later. Ma, I don't take to this place. <laughs> that indie filmmaking. What kind of framing is this? Him too, but what about that like, one over there? Like, you just see half her face. Whee! Whee! Pretend you don't notice. 
Oh, I can't. It's too late. Man, Barbara Steele does not want to be seen in this movie. Her face is completely obscured. They really got the most of their $1,000. Well. Bags are bad enough. Man, somebody needs to teabag that guy. What did I tell you? Uh, excuse me, but I, uh... Vladimir Lenin? Your garlic. My what? Garlic, did you say? Indeed, yes. Uh, may I sit down? Naturally. We've been expecting... I mean, you're gonna do it anyway. I explain the reason for the garlic clothes. Uh, you seem puzzled by them. Excuse me, uh... What are you exactly? She is just not in frame at all. Certainly not. I'm an Characters deliver dialogue and just are not ever in frame. Are the class of the profession in your under your country's present regime? Maybe we should frame the person giving the dialogue. No, no, no. Fuck that. <laughs> Where have I heard that name? Do you know the Draculas? Know the Draculas? I went to college with the Draculas. They're so, so fucking great. Evil tyranny in their very house. Von Helsing. That's what I know the name from, of course. This guy's Von Helsing? But surely there are no wicked fairies. All right, okay, I'll take your word for it, bro. Just trusting some random old man who is riding a swing. Yes, I'm Von Helsing. I killed Dracula. Yeah, sure, buddy. Yes, of course. There is that comrade who runs this place. Groper! Groper! His name is Groper? My friend. That is an unfortunate name. I'm guessing Groper is not allowed anywhere near the playground, which is kind of a, a shame because his hotel has a playground. I guess it might explain why the hotel has a playground and a swing. Uh-oh. Don't bring your kids to the Groper's hotel, okay? Yes, yes. Exactly. The natives wear these things, these garlic cloves, to protect them. Ridiculous. I thought he just said gar garlic no, cloves. I was like, they make clothes out of garlic? That's news to me. More than that, cloves. the depredations of a strong-willed witch. <laughs> Don't tell me you still believe in witch. I just have to interpret well, the dialogue because the audio control. quality is so shitty. After all, the hand of Satan reached down through many, many centuries. Why should it find its end at the height of this one? Oh, that's a theory, anyway. Let me tell you a story. Oh, oh no, Grandpa's gonna tell us a story. Ugh. About 200 years ago, here in Balbrash, there was a wicked witch called Vadella. Really, an evil example of witches. The wicked witch of the West? And the stupid peasantry who lived here tried to exorcise her themselves. Ha! The fool! Without going through the proper channels, you mean? Ah, uh, you gotta go through so many bureaucratic channels just to exercise a bitch these days. Miss the good old days where you could just burn somebody alive. Just for looking at you funny. Yeah, they're a witch. Those were the good old days. If they only had the patience to wait upon the wisdom of the 12th Count, there would exist no danger. No danger at all. And you mean... Can you believe this guy? Waiting for the effects of her curse to take place. Barbara Steele's just like checking out. Just like, oh, I'm sorry. can we get this scene over with? God. We've had a very long and tiring day. Oh, but you must hear the end of the story. Uh, if there is to be an end, and uh, I'd like you to see the library. The library? The library? The only collection of demonic law left in the whole of Transylvania since the government outlawed black magic, of course. You're gonna see some crazy shit in that library, lady. Enough crazy shit to make your trilby spin. Oh, well, uh, perhaps you'd uh, use allow me to bring around a few samples tomorrow morning. Uh, say, round about ten. They're just making up this dialogue as they go along. Thank you. Very well. Noon it is. <laughs> Fine, uh, we'll, uh, we'll see you then. Okay. <clears throat> no handshake, I guess. But you'll kiss my wife's hand. Yeah. Real shy sign of respect, Von Helsing. It's paid for. It's on their bill. Whoa, what a piece of shit. Von Helsing must be hard on money, like... Damn. He's like, I, I told them a story. I'm gonna make them pay for my bows. What a piece of shit. What's the matter with you? Fast taps running blood or something? I almost Is there supposed to be somebody, somebody in this shot? I guess somebody's supposed to be in that shot. Oh no, Barbara Steele's progressively transforming into Michael Jackson. Peter <laughs> Beedo Bow! Mine host. His name's on the board outside. He runs the place. God help him, then. Hee-hee! <laughs> oh! 
Transylvania has some pretty weird legends. A lot of people... Man, Michael Jackson must have watched this movie and was taking notes. I like the way Barbara Steele looks in this flick, you know? Maybe that could work for me. Is that Cosmo Kramer? He's in order. Have you ever tried knocking, Groper? No need to knock in People's Republic. My name is Groper. I don't bother knocking, I just start a groping. It has any privacy either, it appears. Privacy breeds conspiracy. I like that saying. Damn, privacy breeds conspiracy. I mean, that's not how you pronounce conspiracy, but still. No. But Herr Ulbricht slept here on his last visit. Thanks for telling us. That makes us feel much better. Darling, this is the bridal suite. Hmm. Well, maybe it needs a little redecoration. I mean, it's the bridal suite. Maybe you guys want to try a threesome on your honeymoon. Or... You don't suppose a new roof will turn up tonight by any chance? Maybe tonight, maybe two years. They have better things. Man, I like those odds. I did. I like that little head tilt he did when he left the room. It's got a little bit of a sassy attitude. I like it. Yeah, they really did a good job picking out their hotel. This place is fucking it. They're gonna definitely give this place five stars on Yelp. Oh God. I, you gotta definitely turn off the lights when you're <laughs> fucking this chick, damn. Why did you tell Von Helsing we would be here all morning when you know we're leaving at dawn? I just didn't want some old nut messing around in our honeymoon. Oh, it is that, is it? You want me to prove it? Okay, that's a little better lighting on her. All right, that's good. I guess they couldn't afford good lighting for Barbara Steele. She cost so much money. A thousand dollars. This is her star. This is the star of this movie, too. And her... It sort of says something about the budget when this is the star and she uh, only cost one thousand dollars. Only imagine what they must have spent on the rest of the movie. So far, we've had... Only really, I guess, <laughs> two locations and some exteriors. Uh, really pricey film. Barbara Steele's laughing. There's no way we're going to do a sex scene, dude. Like, there's no way. They did not pay me sex scene money. <laughs> that guy's like, usually I hear a lot of laughter when I'm about to have sex, too. Really relatable. Oh, man, that's some real passion. Ooh, I like what I see through this uh, screen window. I, I kind of having a hard time making out what I'm seeing, but I can see a naked back. Hopefully it's a lady's naked back. It, I'm just going to imagine it is. Yeah. Yeah, no, that's not a that's not a woman's back, but there is a woman's back beneath that back. Um, yeah, all right. Yeah, I mean, what kind of foreplay is this? Pants over blanket? Ah! He already jizzed in his pants. Damn. God, this has got to be so hot. You're about to rail your wife, but before you rail your wife, you get to beat the fuck out of a guy named Groper. It's gotta make you really feel masculine, damn. Fucking bashed his head in. That's what you get for trying to grope my wife, Groper. I'm the only one who gets to Groper, Groper. <laughs> Groper's having a good night's sleep. God, that's so cool. Like, that's such a power move, beating the shit out of the guy who runs the hotel. Philip. <laughs> yeah? I don't really feel like getting dressed and leaving at this hour now. Or would you prefer going back to bed and putting on another show for the management? Oh, you wouldn't dare. You might assault him again. Besides, I've taken other precautions. What I like how she's like, yeah, let's stick around at this, uh, thinking, thing oh, no. peeping Tom's hotel. That thing around you, no? Surely he won't try to what fuck you? us up, try to kill us. Do you want me? Let's spend the night still, you know. We're good. We don't have to go anywhere. <laughs> 
Ah, oh, what a wonderful dream. I dreamt that I was watching a naked lady about to get railed, and then I got my ass kicked. Ah, oh, that is a dream come true. Was this movie shot beneath a pier? <laughs> you could hear the carnival music. This is a hotel? Like, what? I, I can't even tell what that structure is supposed to be. Why do they have a... Why do they have a painting of a Nazi up in this hotel? <laughs> now what? There's nothing missing here. I know, he must have taken the distributor cap. Oh, you're telling me Groper groped us while we were sleeping? Damn. Oh. This is why you don't spend the night on a property run by a guy named Groper. It's not worth it. Ah, here it is. Thanks a lot. Oh, capitalist dog! Ah. Fucking capitalists with their hot wives and beating the shit out of me. God, all those capitalists are the same. Oh, hopefully Groper gets run over here. What on earth are you doing in the middle of the road, Groper? Oh. Have the English couple come out yet? Hmm? Oh. I mean, they came out, but I also tried to come in. Didn't work out, though. Oh, I don't know. I thought it was rather quaint. Venera Cody says, that's why you don't name your kid Groper. My favorite Muppet on Sesame Street is Groper, actually. I think that's how you say his name. Oh, Philip, turn back. I've forgotten something. What? My garlic. Oh, no. She forgot her garlic. Oh, no. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Fucking with me. While well, we're about to die. Because our car was very obviously tampered with. It feels like I'm about to watch Butcher Baker Nightmare Maker again. Just jump out of the car at this point. I can't even tell where they are in relation to that truck. What? Now I know why they used a Volkswagen Beetle. Uh... Very, very affordable to destroy. Nobody's gonna fucking miss that thing. It's a me, a Mario. Ahoy, Mamma Mia. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Man, I should have played the, uh, Dire Docks music from Super Mario 64. <laughs> oh, shit, is this Optimus Prime? Oh my god, I'm just bracing myself. He's just about to transform, I can tell. let us go Maddie asked Doc's favorite Mario game. Drink. I, I gotta give it to Super Mario 64. Today is the day I remind you that you only Just a pure pseudo open world non-linear mission based game. I love that. So awesome. Also loved Odyssey. But uh no, I like the more mission based structure of uh, 64. Beautiful. Even mine is better. <laughs> it must have been some accident. <laughs> In Odyssey, you could just you basically trip trip over a lot of those fucking uh, moons, those power moons. Too bad, so pretty. Groper, I never understood your taste. I didn't marry your wife. Greetings, Jeremy. Welcome to the first inaugural Twitch Die in Theater stream. Maybe he'll say the accident wasn't my fault. Why should I help him? He cut off my face. We're well underway in this die in theater stream, and there's been no issues. Right. It's amazing. I want to. See I was anticipating so many problems. It haven't happened. It's great. <laughs> Maddie asked, "Did you play Wonder?" Yeah, I beat it uh, a few months ago. Definitely, uh, I loved it because it was basically like Super Mario Brothers three. It's basically just a, you know, modern Super Mario Brothers three. I wish the world map. I wish they'd do more with the world map and the. Uh, 
modern 2D Mario games, because the cool thing about Mario 3's world map was that it was kind of like a pseudo board game structure. But the world maps are a lot more simplistic now. Hopefully the next one have a little bit more cool mini games and other bullshit that pop up on the world map. Where I guess they don't want to step on Mario Party's toes, though. I guess that makes sense. Uh, oh, well. <laughs> Greetings to you, Stitches. Yeah, you could tell this movie was shot in Italy. They got these body bags ready to go. And don't touch him. At least until I'm safe. That guy was killed because he was wearing white pants after Labor Day. window or something? Hey, Groper. Because he caught his wife making eyes at me. Yep. Just want to make sure the message is loud and clear. Groper only got his ass kicked because that dude's wife was uh, really into Groper. You know? Wasn't because he was watching them having sex. No, they... That guy's wife really wanted to fuck Groper. What? Nicolo says, are all these people dead? No, this is not a Carnival of Souls situation. We. <laughs> That'd be a nice twist. They'd be ahead of the curve there. I do got to stream Carnival of Souls here again soon. Streamed it once on YouTube, but... No harm in restreaming some of these things. And I never streamed this before. And you know, I feel like I'll end up streaming this movie again and again and again. Because I love it. Oh, I love the She-Beast. You know, we haven't seen a lot of the She-Beast, but I'm assuming she'll appear again soon. I'm seeing a lot of He-Beasts. Veronica. They honestly should have just called this what movie is, Groper. That would have been more of an app name. Hey, Groper. Groper was like basically miming an orchestra conductor. Nicolo says, Little Shop of Horrors 1960. That might be next here, because that's public domain. You did your research. Oh. I don't know. She was with me in the car. Where is she? I don't know. I swear if it's true. Groper is a trustworthy guy. He's been telling the truth this whole time. What do you mean? Just take his word for it. with me in the car. She was right there beside me. <laughs> now, what have you done with my wife? Whoa, is it Lurch from Adam's family? Where it is true, I don't know. What the devil is happening? I've never heard so much. Oh, what is happening over here? We, we had an accident and Veronica was thrown. Is she alive? Did you find her in the car? You. Man, uh, no. Von Helsing sounds like the great gazoo from Flintstones. By the lake, that car waiting. Oh, she's dead, all right. The lake of Adela. This was in the car. Is that guy turning younger as the movie goes along? He looks like fucking Marty McFly now. What? Afraid I do know her. Your wife was in the car with you when the crash took place. You're right there beside me. You hadn't sent for the police yet. No, no, no. The truck driver went to get them. He told me it was a better idea than me using the phone. He could explain the details, he said. Ah, that's the last we'll see of him. He could be Beavis 97 says, I think She-Beast will be back in Captain America 4. He's a friend of mine. That is no Got my fingers crossed. <laughs> I think She-Beast showed up in the uh, post credit scene in Captain Marvel. Or Captain Marvel 2, a.k.a. the Marvels. in the car. She could be alive somewhere. But what's this? All right. It's still... Please, we're reasonable men. Your wife was kidnapped, sure, but... Do as I instruct you, and we may yet save her. Save her? Due to the right. room we had last night, I will join you there in a minute. Well, what the hell do you mean by... It's vital to do as I say, if you are ever to see your wife again. Okay, I'll do as you say. All right, you got me to cooperate. I'm going to take it easy now. I'm not going to go to the police. I'm going to trust you, dude. <laughs> Under no circumstances are you to tell anyone of this. Under no circumstances. Oh, Groper would never kiss and tell. He'd never grope and tell either. What? I could see this movie was a big influence on Evil Dead, too. This is like when uh, Ash kills Linda and is reminiscing 
looking at her necklace. Uh, you could tell Sam Raimi was heavily influenced by this film. I have sufficient evidence concerning the way you run this rest house, not only to deprive you of your license... So is this a hotel or a rest house? Nothing wrong goes on here. It's like a rest stop where you stop and uh, take a shit when you're on a long road trip. Not married. Not ever they do. Jeremy Thompson says the name Groper alone is guaranteed to put him on the watch list. I mean, the crazy thing is that he changed his name to Groper. He legally changed it to Groper. His name was just Kevin before. But for some reason, he was like, I, I, I kind of like the name Groper. I don't know. I, I kind of like it. As you remember. You know, I, uh, can, you guys, uh, can you guys make this happen for me? On the road below the village, on the other side. I remember a truck was coming towards us. Then the wheels started pulling me to the left and... Toward the lake. Yes, yes. I couldn't control it. We went straight off the road. Then I hit the brake... Yeah, get your story straight, man. Then we went straight into the lake and I must have hit my head against... This is Matthew Broderick talking to the authorities. last thing you remember? Somehow I got out of the car. There was a man standing there. Anything else? Anything unusual? I mean, besides you, uh, nothing unusual. Now I remember. There was a sort of wooden thing beside it, like an enormous seesaw. Oh, that sounds fun. I like to ride the swings, but I also like to ride seesaws. You want to ride a seesaw with me, dude? Let's go find the seesaw. Don't ask me any questions now. You understand that? Come with me. Just trust me. Just blindly trust me. I'm going to take you somewhere. You don't know where I'm going to take you. You know your wife is uh, kidnapped. You know I have something to do with it, but just trust me. Everything's fine. <laughs> okay, dude, can you even see behind that steering wheel? Oh, what the hell? This guy's the average Floridian driver. Wait, so were they driving there or were they walking there? What? All right. No transition, I guess. <laughs> Didn't even arrive in the car. <laughs> this movie is a real trip. Take the moment and we'll have some light. Ah, oh, there we are. Please make Yeah, that's a lot of light. It definitely makes a difference in this room. I can see perfectly clear now. Thanks, man. <laughs> These are very old. And quite rare. I'm sure they'd be worth a great deal. Just like me, I'm very old and quite rare. Put it on. Not All right. Foolproof, of course, but enough to put the old girl off for a moment, hmm? And that moment may mean just the difference between success and failure. The death of Badella the witch. So, maybe he should be uh, better framed right now. Um, okay, good. Thank you, cameraman. Really working overtime, cameraman. Patience, patience. I said, take me back. No, really, my dear young man, you must pull yourself together. I, I want to read you my fan fiction, dude. You have any chance You're mad. Take me back, I'm warning you. Please, be patient. I want to show you copies of my zine. Your nonsense. Not one minute. Not one second. Precisely. Not one millisecond. You may strike me if you wish. But if you strike me down, I shall become more powerful than you can possibly I imagine. I would. A daughter. All right, you uh, talked me into it. I'm not going to beat the shit out of you like I did Groper. encompasses every human being in Bowerbrush. Their peril is... Is this Chevy Chase? What? Now, settle yourself and listen to... All right, now let me tell you some more of this story. Hopefully you're still around. Um, yeah, this is why you don't want to leave your uh, keys in the car. The goodly folk Especially if you want to tell them a fun story. And in the hour of six did place her upon the seat of chastisement. And they heeded not her imprecations, nor her foul prophetic utterance. Yeah, I don't blame that guy for fucking getting out of here. It's like, okay, I don't want to hear this shit. In such cases, it has been the experience of your author 
that the powers of evil shall make all right i guess he didn't leave the keys in after all using agent the person the and spirit of an innocent the hour of reincarnation is Give me the key. by the appearance of the emissary of satan in form as one dead the undoubted and terrible savagery of the final waking okay i'm really considering beating the shit out of this old man of resurrection hard followed upon by exorcism such as we nextly will exemplify i really want to take a crack at riding that whip then when the dreadful hour has closed upon its circle of circling time hold back no more but strike all right, that really pushed the plot forward, dude. Did it. Oh man, I really should start paying attention. Ah, this always happens. I stop paying attention, and I completely lose track of the time. Ah, God. Well, luckily I still have the key. He's dressed like Pee Wee Herman. <laughs> Fuck it, I'm running. Whatever. I'm running faster than I could drive in that thing anyway. Philip's like, I'm beating you there, sucker. So long, motherfucker. God, that is so sad. That car could barely keep up. Is there supposed to be something in that shot? Why did we see that shot? What was the point of that? <laughs> Stitches asked T2 after this? Yeah, I think I'll definitely stream Terminator 2 here uh, on Twitch after this, so keep an eye out, you know? Stay tuned. Gonna get that Terminator 2 Blu-ray out. I think you I think you could I think Terminator 2 is public domain. I think you can get away with it. What is the name of this song? Kinda digging it. I need to Shazam this later. This is a good track. Jeremy asks, Wow, really? No, not really. I wish I was James Cameron. I wish I had the rights to Terminator 2. Uh, I assume he has the rights. <laughs> you know, you make a movie, you naturally own the rights to it, you know, right? Return, thou creature from the very depths of evil. Return to hideous mortality. Just five more minutes, Ma. Return to hideous mortality. Ugh, I get my beauty rest here. Man, she is a really heavy sleeper. Wow. He should put her he should put her hand in some warm water. <laughs> Nicole L.S., is this a short movie, Doc? It's six hours long. It's pretty short, though. Now, I don't have a torch on me, so this is going to have to do. Um, it's a really big doobie. You want to smoke? Man, Groper is laughing his ass off on the sidelines. He's like... Ah, <laughs> oh, that's what that old man deserves. Wow. Von Helsing went down fast. Damn. What's so funny, guys? I, I want to know the joke. Please share it with me. Oh. Rest in peace, Von Helsing. You either die a hero or live long enough to see yourself become the villain. And also die. Now, this is not the kind of place I expected a guy named Groper to live in, honestly. Um, I expected him to have a nicer bachelor pad, but, uh, you know, I... set design really tells you about a character. Ooh, a titty magazine. 
They were just in swimsuits on the cover, though. And then again, maybe swimsuits are not allowed on Twitch. I don't know. I feel like maybe they got some Victorian rules here. <laughs> oh, Groper has a visit from his niece. I'm sure he's not going to be creepy around his niece. No way. <laughs> Groper is a good uncle. I mean, look at the way he's dressed around his niece, you know. He's on the level. thought you'd look up your uncle Ladislav for a little comfort, eh? Oh, wait, this is a different guy. This is like Groper's brother or something. I'm sorry, I'll go. Oh, no, no. Unless Groper is his first or last name, I don't know. Come in, sit down. It looks like Groper. I don't know, like... Can't keep it straight. Let me let me look it up. Is this guy Groper? There's a Groper in this movie. I know that. Okay, do not drink what Bill Cosby has to give you. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, yeah, so, yeah, his name is Ladislav Groper. So, yeah, that was Groper. He living up to his name. Um, can't show what Groper was about to do on Twitch, though. I know that. I know that just well. Um, so, yeah. Don't grope people here at the Die-In Theater, please. Please do not grope your niece, especially at the Die-In Theater. Don't be like Groper. Don't be like Groper. Come back here. Telephone, please. I'm not done with you, niece. <laughs> okay, well, it looks like Groper finally got his comeuppance. Oh I killed him. And to think, I once thought Groper was supposed to be the hero of the film. <laughs> Instead, he's like, zip, zip, zip. I'm gonna give her a little drink and slip her my pudding pop. Zip, zip, zip. Fucking Groper. Yeah. Luckily, I watched this movie ahead of time. I was like, okay, yeah, I know I can't show... No, I can't show Groper groping. This definitely not allowed. It's not allowed on Twitch, not allowed on YouTube. Well, I guess this movie is uncut on YouTube. But still, I mean, I don't know. It was attempted, though. So there's a difference. <laughs> <God>. <laughs> You can show attempted groping. <laughs> okay, maybe not. And I, I, I don't want to play with the rules now. I'm gonna, I'm gonna assume you can. Groper, honestly, yeah. Venera Cody says Groper, no groping. Oh man, Groper does sound like a, a dark, gritty version of a Dora the Explorer villain. <laughs> it's honestly the kind of villain that a five-year-old girl would likely encounter going on adventures by herself with, like, a monkey and a talking backpack. She'd definitely have to worry about gropers out there. Don't let your kids go on adventures by themselves. Like, they need adult supervision. Dora was teaching kids the wrong lessons. You're not always going to have a, a blue... a blue arrow watching your back in the real world. That's not always going to be the case. Sometimes you're going to be on your own. But every now and then, that blue arrow does come in clutch. Do you see Groper? Is he over there? Or maybe is he over there? All right. Well, what are we doing here? Didn't... Could have been run over by a bus. Didn't Von Helsing just die? Of course. What? I am not following this plot. Hit me with a bottle. Why? Could have sworn it, uh, Va Von Helsing got she basted, but I guess not. Oh yeah, yeah. Unless there's two identical old men in this movie. Quickly, there isn't any time to lose. Looks like the love, ch ch looks like the love child of Lennon and Colonel Sanders. Ugh. Are we going to the police? What? Yes, of course, of course. Oh yeah, the police. Oh yeah, I forgot they existed. I guess we could have gone to them this whole time. Fuck. News to me. Honestly, Groper is a man of many vices. Alcoholic. Groper, of course. Um, sadomasochist. I assume he really loves getting his ass beat. 
I'm assuming also Slothful. I'm assuming he, like, has all the seven deadly sins wrapped up into one person. He's a guy to really look up to. This guy's a true role model. Man, where is that chapel bell coming from? There isn't a chapel for miles around. What? It's kind of spooking me. Ugh, gotta go make a trip to the liquor store across the street. Nicole says, I thought he died. I thought a lot of things in this movie. I thought Groper died. I thought Vladimir Lenin von Helsing died. Apparently not. Um, as far as I know, Barbara Steele is dead because she's not in the rest of this movie. A lot of shots of uh, this guy walking around at night, though. I don't know if we're supposed to be, like, afraid for him. We're like, oh, no, the she-beast is going to get him. Oh, no, not Groper. Oh, I was really rooting for Groper. But knowing the she-beast, this death is not going to take. This death is going to be very temporary. You know, I guess that's one way to shoot a killing scene. Oh, that's some real subtle political commentary. You see that? Did, did you see that, guys? <laughs> That's kind of crazy that this movie had some kind of, um, some kind of fucking sight gag like that in it. Like, that's the only thing in this movie that's somewhat clever. A hammer and sickle shot. Like... And the only way we can reunite... It's kind of funny, you know, um... ...until we're able to achieve complete exorcism. I know you don't believe me, but I only fear we may soon be seeing proof of everything I've told you. I am noticing that Twitch is very heavy on the auto moderation. Stop the car! But luckily Twitch is a lot easier to stream from. Like, I have a lot easier access to all my controls within my actual streaming software. Very convenient. Again. Much more easily, uh... Approve comments on the fly. Is it like just a pair of jeans running across the horizon? I can't tell what it is. What? Was that cousin? Was that? Was that? Was that thing from Adam's family? Oh wait, no, that's cousin it. I always get cousin it and thing confused. It and thing. I I, I hate it. Cousin It is the fur monster, or hair monster, whatever the fuck he is, and, and Thing is the hand. I always get him mixed up because it's, like, very similar. They need to work on the names, like... Just call him, just call him Hand on Adam's family. Just get rid of the fucking, the fucking Thing name. Just call him Hand, like... So I stop doing that, please. Just call him. Just call him Hand. Right. And you know you could start calling cousin it cousin it thing. Cousin it thing. I like it. I think it's gonna catch on. Honestly, you could jump from that window. You do not need the uh, the handkerchief rope at all. I've never seen anybody actually use a handkerchief rope in real life like that. I, you see it a lot in cartoons and movies. Never seen it done in practice ever. I feel like it would be a really cool sight to see, though. Ooh, cockfighting. This movie's got it all. Damn. So it's really hard to tell what country this is supposed to be. This is supposed to be Transylvania. But they got cockfighting rings? Is that really a thing in Transylvania? Um, I guess so. I guess it's like a, a worldwide thing, though. Yeah. Hell yeah. That's so cool. I think cockfighting is allowed on Twitch. I don't know. These chickens are long dead anyway, you know. It's all out of frame. Luckily, the cameraman can't frame a shot. <laughs> that kid is getting a better look at the cockfight than we are right now. 
So, what does this have to do with a she-beast, though? This is like that scene in Jurassic World Dominion where they go to, like, a fucking black market in, uh... I don't, know, I don't, I don't even remember the country, like... I was just like, what does this have to do with the main plot again? Uh, I guess whatever, I don't know. Good, if you see her, call me. Hurry. Stitches says, I come to Twitch for the cuckfighting. Actually, I realize now, this movie's got cockfighting, and it also has cuckfighting. This dude right here kicked that one, kicked Groper's ass after Groper tried to watch him have, it, have sex with his wife. So, yeah, this got cuckfighting and cockfighting in it. <laughs> this movie really has it. Oh! It's also got a she-beast, unfortunately. I'm never gonna get used to looking at that she-beast. So, did he just give the she-beast some heroin? Because I'd really like some heroin, too. Can you share with the class? Man, if you're losing a fight with a she-beast, you might as well quit. You might as well give up. I fight a she-beast, she it's gonna be over once the- Oh, God, no. Uh, okay, um... What are we gonna do about that kid? Maybe I should have, uh, paid more attention when I watched this movie. Uh-oh. <laughs> what are we gonna do about that? That's no good, kids. Don't reenact anything you're seeing in this movie. I know just the place for her. Humongous Arungus says, Now we know how Colonel Sanders got his start in the chicken business. Yeah. Guess you gotta start somewhere. I guess... Colonel Sanders started out with a cockfighting ring, and then he had to do something with those chicken carcasses. Oh, good for him, honestly. Good for him. You suppose? Yes, he was. Think you're gonna get off easy, Colonel Sanders? No way. I would have laughed outright at that statement, but now. I know. Well, let's go to my cave and pick up the chains and other things. Yeah, let's go to Von Helsing's cave. That's a great plan, dude. Six this evening. We have just got time to do the final preparation. If all goes smoothly. Nicolo says poor chickens. Well, here's the thing. Those weren't real chickens. Those were just props made for the movie. Covered in covered in red fructose corn syrup, so don't worry. They weren't real chickens. I looked it up on Wikipedia. So don't don't be sad. No chickens were harmed during the making of this movie. PETA worked closely in collaboration with the filmmakers. That's where a lot of the budget went. It's all fine. Don't worry. Don't worry. No, he's already dead. And he's obstructing justice. You can all sleep, sleep well and good tonight. Hello? And what's troubling you? For running over a chicken, you won't get... Is that Jack Black? Holy shit. What do you know? This is what happens when your prison cell does not include a toilet. Calm yourself, Philip. There's nothing we can do at this moment. Deoxys says those chickens live full and happy lives. Yeah, in a KFC bucket. <laughs> now look here. These are the chains with which Fadella was bound. This is the thorned cross. Oh, shut up. I can't stand Shut the fuck up with this Blair Witch Project shit. Don't you understand? Yes, of course I do. Very well, we'll take these back to the inn and sit watch by Vardella until her time is near. So the villain of this movie is named Vardella? Vardella the She-Beast. Real catchy. To Veronica. Veronica Lake? Oh wait, Veronica my wife. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. Man, now I'm hungry for some chicken. I gotta get some chicken after this stream. 
Break down the thing! Oh, yeah, I should probably do my job, but we don't have a warrant. Uh, never mind, this is Transylvania. Forget about it. Get in there. Well, where is she? Uh, on that table, I put her there myself. The door was locked. Search everywhere. Yeah, this guy's definitely telling the truth. I mean, why would this, uh, blue Mario guy lie to us? I helped to carry them here. Why? Because he asked me to. Why didn't you bring the police station? Well, I was afraid if I didn't do it, Groper might... Well, you know. But she was dead. Then if she was dead, how is it that she attacked dear Groper, hmm? I don't know. Do you think she's the witch? Is this just two guys being voiced by the same dude? I shall make a note. Yeah. There's barely any difference in these voices. Revolting. I'm dead. Take her to the car. I mean, maybe if she was alive, it'd still be revolting, but also dead. Why Ugh. Did you kill her? But I, I didn't kill her. I'm not taking the fall for Groper's crimes, dude. Outside, dude. You just know they banged that chick's head on the uh, doorway on the way it's out. A filthy thing autopsy and buried as quickly as possible. <clears throat> and as for you, my man, it's handcuffs for you from now on. You're going to be wearing handcuffs for the rest of your life. Because that's how prison works. gang, let's head to the spooky mystery mansion and uh, split up and search for clues. What do you think they wanted? I don't know yet. Maybe we should follow that creepy rape van. Gone. They're taking her. They'll kill her. But when they assume she's already dead, she's a found body. They'll perform an autopsy and that will kill her. We're ruined by work. Damn your work. Now, where will they take her? To the clinic at the state. You know, maybe I should be in frame. Let's go, then. You're mad. They'll throw us in jail. They'll put us in prison for 50 years. I'm a British subject, for God's sake. Guess what, dude? I'm young. I could live in prison for 50 years. You can't. <laughs> so think about that. Bet you'll come out for a groper tree. All right, gang. Time to split up. I'll go with Groper. You take Italian stereotype guy. Inside you. She smells like the bottom of a. Man, I was hot boxing back there. Go get a stretcher. Yeah, yeah, that's a very subtle car. No one's gonna spot them tailing the cops at all. Not in that thing. Bright yellow. That's the kind of car when you want to sneak up on folks. Just a moment, sir. But oh, fuck, you scared me, dude. What happened to just saying hello first? Impossible. Just let me see, please. Yes, that's her, poor dear. Oh, sweet. Your mom's ugly as hell. Oh, what kind of world is this where you just karate chop a guy in the back and he's instantly knocked out? That's some serious Star Trek powers. Got Mr. Spock over here. Oh, sweet. They get a new van, too. They get a she-beast and a sick-ass van with a fucking red racing stripe on it. What kind of police vehicle is this? <laughs> help! Help you dogs! Into that! After them! Oh, now they're taking uh, Von Helsing's ride. Why would Von Helsing leave the keys in his car, though? I want to leave an even playing field. I want to make sure the cops still have a chance. I want to make sure the cops are still able to undo our undo our plans if we get out of this one i'll buy you a jack no use i'm finished here well haven't you got a passport how about instead of buying me a jack you uh you know during the ride jack me off stitches says she beast is actually the name of the van okay now that makes sense because that's one hell of a van
This is some kind of chase. God, this is like a Scooby-Doo cartoon. What's with the guy on the motorcycle? It's like I'm watching It's a Mad, 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 Mad World. I think there's a few more Mads in there. Yes, I'm afraid so. Now, we can't actually fire our guns because they're just props, but, um... Just pretend you're firing at them. Keep up with the train, CJ! What do we do now? Keep driving, you fool! Keep driving! Oh, man, how does this guy drive with the steering wheel this high? Ugh. There's like two motorcycle guys following them now, going in opposite directions. What the hell is going on? And how come the cops don't know how to drive at all? <laughs> I guess they must have got loaded right before this chase sequence. Fucking Transylvanian drivers. Man, you think Von Helsing would be a better shot. Honestly, Von Helsing should have been the one driving. Now that guy knows how to drive. He knows how to drive a Vaughn because his name is Vaughn after all. What is with the guy on the motorcycle? Is he the real villain of the film? I think we've lost him. Idiot. Okay, now we're gonna have to watch these cops do some uh, Get it huh? Come on, quickly. auto work, I guess, for the next couple hours. So sit tight, guys. I guess this sequence is supposed to be funny. Um, what's what the, like? There's always a guy on a motorcycle. Like, it's obviously not a guy who's part of the crew because it's always like almost hitting the other car. I guess the uh, cartoon sound effects are supposed to sell this as a comedy. Nicole L. 18 says, "Man, this film is poorly shot." Yeah, it's um. <laughs> A little lacking in the cinematography department. Um, but boy, is it a hoot. Man, this was back in the days when cars were crank operated. Take me back. It's so fucked up because this is like a comedy sequence, but they're driving on the way to get fucking murdered by Von Helsing. He's out for blood. Get out of post. Man, Von Helsing and that other guy, they're like in a whole other country by now. Wait up for me, guys! Oh! 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 God! How did they catch up so quickly? What the hell? They spent like five minutes working on their car. What? Von Helsing's like, I'm sorry, I had to take a leak. Yeah, we probably could have got away by now. <laughs> this is not how car chases work, but at the same time, this is more exciting than the chase sequences in the Fast and the Furious movies. Well, what's the matter? Keep firing at the tires. No, no, I, I, I just remembered. So, the director of this movie had nothing to do with actually shooting this chase sequence. It was all a second unit crew. And according to the director, this shit was so poorly shot, he considered cutting all of this out of the film. And this is the closest thing to excitement in the movie, but the director couldn't cut any of this out because they, they didn't have the budget to reshoot it, and also the movie would have been way too short without it. <laughs> But how do, how do you even consider cutting any of this out? It's, it's cinema, as Martin Scorsese would say. Good old Scorsese. But honestly, they could have just cut to more shots of Groper. 
It feels like Groper was like half of the movie. It's like, all right, we're not exactly keen on running low on, sh you know, the runtime is kind of low. Luckily, we got a lot of B-roll of Groper. Man, these poor cops, they're just doing their job. And Von Helsing is planning to murk him. Just with no explanation. I'm sorry, we need the she-beast to bring Veronica back to life. That'd be so easy to just say, but instead they have to take him on this car chase. Fucking murder him. Wow. Mr. Mystic says, when's the Groper spinoff film? Well, the great thing is that this movie is public domain. So a Groper spinoff film, it's always on the horizon. You never know. You never know. I mean, Disney might be looking for a new property, new public domain property to give a spin on. So maybe we'll see some uh, action in the uh, She-Beast realm. One of those guys, one of those guys was just wearing jod purse, wasn't he? Oh yeah, I'm supposed to be a monster in this movie. Not just taking a nap, I should probably start doing stuff again. We're kind of reaching the climax. Hey, dude, this is not helping. We're kind of missing a few shots, um, but, uh, still, a, a fantastic action sequence. You know, it's like Chris Nolan. You don't need to see everything that's going on. You just need to feel no what's to going leave. on, you know? That's that's what it all comes down to, ultimately. Yes, I think so. What time is it? So, the Sheepies took out all these cops, but, uh, there was no trouble for Von Helsing to handle, you know? Well, at least we don't have any more witnesses, huh? <laughs> uh. All right, let's get uh, the she be cement shoes on. She's about to swim with the fishes. Not with any literal fishes, of course, because uh, this is... This water is far too dirty for any fish to live in, but, uh, you know, it's an expression. Oh, they're about to play on the teeter-totter. Hell yeah. I want to turn on, on the teeter-totter next, guys. After the she-beast, I better get a turn on this teeter-totter. You know, I, admittedly, I usually say seesaw, but I feel like teeter-totter is a lot funnier sounding, so I think I'm going to start calling it teeter-totter. It's like how there's carousel and there's merry-go-round, um, but merry-go-round kind of sounds lame, so I'll probably just start saying carousel. Merry-go-round is just too damn British. We have to make one small change in the ritual. We'll make it! If we use the spike, you'll never see your wife alive. Humongous says this better be a ride at your amusement park. I'm taking notes right now. This is going to be at Wolfia Land. Going to have a, a teeter-totter in front of a uh, waste treatment flat plant facility. Um, quit being a fucking drama queen. You're just getting dunked in some water again. It's got to kind of suck, though. She's been, like, dead for hundreds of years. Then she's brought back to life only for, like, an hour. I guess I would be kind of pissed off, too. Darth Revan asks, what movie is this? It's the She-Beast. And the She-Beast is about to be She-Dead. Okay, that doesn't really work. She-Ceased, actually. That works. She-Beast is about to be She-Ceased. Yeah, that works. Should have used that uh, the first time. Um, now I feel like a fucking idiot. Good heavens. She ceased. So Hell well. yeah. She ceased. I'm going to start saying that all the time. <laughs> Even when it doesn't make sense. Yeah. Feels so fucking cool when I say she ceased. Yeah. <laughs> so I guess this is a happy ending. Veronica is back to life. 
Barbara Steele has to shoot the rest of her scenes, uh, unfortunately for her. Now, it's kind of fucked up because Barbara Steele was the highest paid actor for this movie. She's barely in it. She was paid $1,000. So I'm wondering, what were these other actors paid? What were what was her husband character pla- paid? Like, was he paid like 20 bucks or something? Like, what? God. Von Helsing got like a, a Subway gift card, I'm assuming. I can't believe that we're finally in Czechoslovakia. Well, there may be a bit of trouble getting you over the next border. So they're going on a road trip with Von Helsing. He almost ruined their lives. Why would you like us to drop you off? Uh, in England, if you wouldn't mind. There's not much in the way of exorcism. Why are they Bar-Bresh? dropping him off? This is his car. About leaving you see... You know, I'm starting to think this movie's plot makes no sense. To be on hand to with. Are you forget he can barely see. He's swerving around. I guess it makes sense why the cops were swer- swerving around so much in the car chase. You can't see Dick in this car. Quite right. But I'll be back. What does that mean? What did you say, darling? I said... I'll be back. over here, Bubbles. All right. Sequel hook, folks. Sequel hook. No, not really. There's been no she Beast 2. Even though the movie is public domain, nobody thought, maybe we should make a she Beast 2. Nope. Uh, never happened. Maybe after this stream, though, someone will get the idea. Where's the question mark, folks? That was a sequel hook. You gotta have a question mark when you do that kind of shit. And now, folks, it's time to say good night. Good night. Really appreciate your patronage and hope patronage in bringing you an enjoyable evening of entertainment. Uh, I had an okay time. And come back again soon. Oh, I'll definitely be coming back. I'll definitely be coming back to Twitch, folks. I had a great night with you guys. Please remember to replace the speaker on the post when you leave the theater. I don't even have a speaker. Ah, oh, I fucked up. Where's my speaker post? Ah, oh, damn it. That's why I couldn't hear the audio so well. Ah, oh, fuck. Now it all makes sense. Damn it. Ah. Oh. Oh, well, well, that was The She-Beast, starring Barbara Steele. Thank you guys for watching me tonight. Now, if you're watching the uh, archive of this stream on YouTube later and you're wondering, why did I miss this? It's because it's on Twitch. So remember, follow me on twitch.tv slash drwolfula. Link in the description if you're watching this on YouTube. Uh, consider follow me, following me on Twitch so you don't miss out on future streams that will be happening exclusively on Twitch. Well, thank you guys for watching again. I just want to plug my Patreon movie nights as well. Every Sunday night I have a movie night with my Patreon supporters and channel members. Next one will be The Mutilator, patreon.com slash drwolfula. Also want to uh, thank my shout-out tier supporters on Patreon and my channel channel memberships for all their support. Their support is greatly appreciated and helps the channel continue to grow and continue to thrive after all these years, and it helps me also experiment with uh, doing stuff on on Twitch too. So, yeah. Uh, also, I guess I'll plug my social media. Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at Dr. Wolfula. I guess it's technically X now instead of Twitter, but I don't think that's gonna last long. There, there's no way they're gonna give up on uh, Twitter, right? Right? I mean, Twitter's much better name than just X, right? I'm not going crazy, right? I guess maybe I am. Oh, well. All right, let's uh, switch to the outro. Hope you enjoyed this live stream. Why don't you watch another thing while I have your attention?